So I just shared uh, Lisa from The Lord is My Shepherd, her video. Uh, you know, and, and it, she was talking about, you know, us trusting in our weapons, our guns. Or, you know, she said a lot of different things. It was like 12 minutes. You should go listen to it. But I just wanted to put in, add my two cents about, you know, uh, the Lord set a mark upon Cain, right? Because he was fearful that people would kill him. Right in, the, in Genesis, it says that uh, he put a mark upon him, right? So that no man would be able to kill him, basically. And what is that mark? Uh, it's, well, the mark of the beast, I believe, right? You know, he uh, became a wanderer and a vagabond on earth, right? It says it in Habakkuk, right? That he, uh, neither keeps he at home. But is his hell, right? His desires is hell. It can't be satisfied, right? But heaps unto himself all nations and all people, right? So the the branch of the wicked has spread through the earth. And this uh, mark, right, that keeps people from being able to kill him is on a lot of the population now. Maybe a third. It could be a third, I believe. Uh, you know, the people that will support the uh, Satan's agenda and kingdom, can't be killed with guns i don't believe and uh i encourage you not to even think to rely on them at all you know if you're walking in the spirit if you're keeping you know god's commandments with you you don't even have to worry about none of those things you know it's uh there's nothing to fear if you do good right there's always we have a hedge of protection around us and even though that that may have been compromised through our sin god still i believe keeps us safe and hides us and that's the uh the seal ceiling of the 144,000. right is like uh you know because their hedge was broken and god needs they have strongholds basically right so uh even still they god's very elect need to be uh cleansed and washed right and that's what the fire is for but the uh Weapons are not going to be able to save. They're not going to be able to save you. Like, I believe we're going to enter into the, uh, once the, you know, the book of Job, I forget which chapter, but it says that, uh, has thou committed the, 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 uh, morning since thy days, right? And caused the day spring to know his place. Behold, it is, uh, turned as clay to the steel and they stand out as a garment. So once that clay is turned to the seal, which is, the sixth seal right upon god's elect the uh you know chapter seven then basically we're in what could be considered i think the fifth dimension right heaven comes to earth essentially right through god's people and he said whatever you ask and believe and don't doubt it shall be yours right and the doubt the unbelief in our heart is from still having strongholds and not being completely sealed up which is pretty much most of the population the five wise virgins might be sealed i, I believe are uh, you know, but, um, but like, okay. So <laughs> if you try to kill a demon with a gun, you're asking for trouble. Okay. Or a hybrid, should I say these people are hybrids. So they have like, you know, the ability to slow down time. This is why they can't, I think this is why they, you can't kill them because, they can slow time down, literally. They can see things in slow motion. So if you point your gun at them, no matter what you do, they're not, you're not going to be able to shoot them because they will be able to, with precision accuracy, right, down to like, you know, the uh, nanometer, nanosecond, whatever, is you're not going to be able to, to aim the bullet at them. They're going to be able to, that's, I mean, that's the mark that was put upon uh, Kane right so nobody could kill him and i'm not sure why exactly god did this but uh so it's the mark of the beast it's also those who partook of the tree of knowledge of good and evil right vain philosophy and wisdom which this song talks about that uh talks you know this i've I think I reposted it. I've brought this song up before. Holographic Universe by Beast 1333. And he talks about all these false gods, Anunnaki devils, and shapeshifters like snakes slither hidden from our vision, except slate written in ancient times. 
right? So that's talking about the doctrines, I believe, of demons. You can't see into the, into that realm without purifying your uh, awareness, okay, your uh, intellect. You know, but it's it's that's why there's corruption, and evil on the earth. He, uh, this this whole all these lyrics are really pretty interesting. Reveals quite a bit of stuff. This was from like 2008, as early as 2008, I think, or maybe even a year or two earlier. But uh... see, look, the governments of the earth undeniably serve the serpent underneath the service surface cold-blooded politicians have heard us and that's the truth and then he goes on to must see this is the thing he must have been able to see all these things ahead of time to have this type of uh these type of lyrics prepare for holocaust of billions kids your names on the list the mark of the beast unleashed within the physical realms So anyways, yeah, without making this too long, I just want to encourage you guys, your guns will not save you. Once the shift happens, okay, we enter into the fifth dimension and your beliefs will have everything to do with how you, how well you fare through everything that's coming. Okay, if you're hidden, like if you repent and you believe the gospel, right, that we are saved by grace through faith, not of works, you know, and that you true you renew your mind daily. Okay, that's all you have to do, and that's your belief will allow you to shift into the spirit. Everybody's either going to be sealed up or down, I believe. Right? It like once the shift happens, and uh, it's a, it's it's coming now. It's any time now. Okay, and they want to keep us distracted. You can't run from telepathic mind control. No, but you can repent and renew your mind, okay, which is the requirement to get into heaven. Okay, believe the truth and repentance, meaning turning from sin, because when we sin, we lose our sacrifice, right, our covering, and then the enemy can scatter us. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me, right, to devour us. And that's why, you know, the, the uh, they hate the poor right and because because they're feeding on our energy and life force right like the rich man had all the blessings and everything right and neglected the poor okay if Bill Gates took his money and all these rich people uh, the world would be a totally different place like you know supposedly the Rockefellers or uh, I forget who it was somebody in one of those families have 500 trillion dollars savings and more so you could d divide that up among all the people on a planet and it would be what 62 63 thousand dollars for each person you know but instead they hoard everything and it says their their uh gold and their silver is cankered and shall be a witness against them okay in the day of the lord's wrath or in the day of judgment but you know we don't want to fight this war with physical weapons, you're not going to be able to kill the people that are coming against you. You need to pray. And I believe that God is, if you're waiting and ready, we're going to be hit. And God, they're not going to be able to mess with us. But uh, another, another interesting thing was that I posted the video last year. I calculated destroying Babylon. In the Gematria calculator, I always just use English anytime I do it. I know that other people use other other methods. Because uh, that's what I name my, my study, right? Destroying Babylon, my study packet. So this is coming up on a year. 
Let's see. Right here. So I just came to my mind. This was what one was this? June 20th last year, right? I uh, calculated destroying Babylon. It just suddenly came to me, right? I never thought to do it before. And it equaled 1242. And we know the tribulation is 1260 days, right? So I was thinking, wow, that's interesting. 18 days out might be, you know, the beginning of the tribulation. I was thinking this last year. And what happened 18 days after I calculated this, if you guys remember, I think it was the 6th of July, the uh, Georgia Guidestones were destroyed. Okay, so maybe this is, that was like a year in advance warning. I'm thinking, and another thing too, 1242 in the Strong's Concordance, okay, equals uh, morning and covenant. All right, so perhaps literally I'm hearing that the 4th of July is going to be, why well, we seen it, I seen there's a comet coming, right, that they discovered last year. Mark Allison posted it, his, his page this last day or two, yesterday I think, and it's supposed to hit Earth on the 4th is what they're saying, right? So it's not just going to be one comet, there's going to be a, a, a torrent of rocks that are going to hit God's going to throw down to the earth, I believe, right? Along with the waters, the floods, and the rain, it's going to be a big, big change, big cataclysm, earthquakes, all types of stuff. So this might have very well been a uh, a year warning. I posted this, at, you know, last June. So in two days, it'll be a year ago. Okay, and then I was thinking 18 more days. That might be the end of the, the tribulation that we went into great tribulation. Well, maybe it was a year warning actually. Okay. And uh, this fourth to the seventh will actually be the beginning of all of it. And I think things are going to kick off actually before that. But maybe that's when the abomination of desolation will appear. It's just interesting to see how these things, similar words, word phrases, all uh, add up to the same thing if there's any relativity to the number. But yeah, the, the thing we need to do is pray. We're not gonna want not gonna want to fight with physical weapons against the enemy. Okay, if they're AI, the men of AI, as the Old Testament says, if they're AI then they won't have no control if, over uh if you pray that's the sword of the spirit right it can literally change things and they won't even be able to have control over it i there was i forget somebody had a dream years back there was some type of insight where you know they came to question the, the, the believers said they were authorities came to question them and uh you know, they were just basically turned away like they weren't fully cognizant of what was happening when the person was praying. So anyways, that's kind of all over the place. But yeah, the, the, a lot of these people have the mark of Cain and the prayer is the answer, not the guns or your weapons. Do not think your weapons are going to save you. And if you shed innocent blood, the secret covenant says that uh, it's going to prevent you passage into the realm of enlightenment. Okay, that's also in my study packet. So, just wanted to share that. This is might have been a year warning, I believe, right? Morning and covenant and destroying Babylon equal twelve forty two. The guide stones were destroyed eighteen days out from when I posted this, right on the sixth of July, and. I think that's the timing is right for all this to happen. So uh, interesting too is, you know, Mandy Ralph was saying that Jesus is coming yesterday. So there's people probably giving her crap again. I haven't seen any videos, but what happened that I, that as she uh, was doing her live stream, I was getting reports. I heard different people saying that there's now troops coming into our country in different places. 
you know so now is the time you know this is the time we're in it right now so we'll see things play out in the next two three weeks guaranteed almost guaranteed i don't see it going past july uh like I think July 4th through the 7th is definitely and now definitely high watch. And this might be the time when God establishes his covenant and when the morning comes. So we'll talk more later, guys. God bless you.